Squid Game Horoscope Test. Have you ever resembled yourself with a character in Squid Game? Well, in today's video we are going to tell you your Squid Game character based on your zodiac sign. If you don't know your zodiac sign, don't worry. As we'll be telling you your zodiac sign before each character. Before starting please note that we are not straight away labeling you as the character but just mentioning certain traits portrayed by the Squid Game characters, whether they be positive or negative. While doing this, we are identifying which zodiac signs represent those traits. So please don't take anything personally. With that said, let's get started. Number 1. Jang Diok Su, represents Aries. If you are an Aries, then your birthday falls between March 21st to April 19th. Many opinions can be formed about Jang Diok Su, but calling him a coward will be a mistake. Aries are self-assured individuals who are recognized for their bravery, optimism, and organizational abilities. Diok Su, in a classic Aries manner, formed an alliance that controlled the game for the majority of the time and constituted a considerable threat to the other candidates. Unfortunately, Aries are notorious for their aggressive temperament, which can lead to them pushing others away. This is proven by Diok Su's teammates' willingness to turn their backs on him. Number 2. The Salesman Represents Taurus. If your birthday falls between April 20th to May 20th, then you are a Taurus. The Salesman is a strange character in Squid Game who raises many more questions than he answers. Given that Taurus people are known for being materialistic and possessive, it should come as no surprise that he is willing to commit such horrific things in exchange for a big paycheck. Despite the bull's intimidating appearance, most Taurus people try to avoid conflict wherever possible. This is why, at the end of the series, the salesman chooses to avoid Guy Hun, rather than engage in a potentially violent debate. Number 3. In Ho represents Gemini. If you are a Gemini, then your birthday falls between May 21st to June 20th. Geminis are known for being persuasive people who can persuade others to see their point of view. While viewers were not aware of the road to In Ho's triumph in the games and eventual promotion to front man, it's easy to see him manipulating others for his personal gain. The twins represent not just the Gemini zodiac sign, but also In Ho's journey as a player and a worker. As well as the conflict he faces in deciding between his home life with his brother and his new role as the front man. Number 4. Han Mi Nayo, represents cancer. If your birthday falls between June 21st to July 22nd, then you are a cancer. Cancers are committed individuals who will remain faithful, provided that they are treated with care and respect. However, as viewers witness with Han Mi Nayo, once that trust is broken, it is impossible to restore. Mi Nayo, has a fiery personality and a vengeful mentality, both of which are characteristics associated with cancers. Her unwillingness to let go of her anger towards Diok Su would eventually lead to her death. Yet, it's more possible that she believed she had won after proving that crossing her was the game's biggest mistake. Number 5. Guy Hun represents Leo. If you are a Leo, then your birthday falls between July 23rd to August 22nd. With the way he handles Il Nam, Ali, and Biok Su, as he develops the squad that would eventually progress all the way to the end. Seong Gai Hun repeatedly exhibits his big-hearted personality during the games. This makes sense because Leos are known for their sensitivity and natural leadership abilities. Leos are also quite proud, which is why he invents a rivalry between himself and his daughter's new stepfather in his imagination. Guy Hun also follows through on his pledge to look after Sang Wu and Se Biok's loved ones after receiving the 45.6 billion won reward. He demonstrates that he is a generous person, a characteristic associated with Leos. Number 6. Bayong Guy represents Virgo. If your birthday falls between August 23rd to September 22nd, then you are a Virgo. Despite being deeply in debt, Bayong Guy proves to be a valuable asset to not just the game's players, but also the workers overseeing the competition. Bayong Guy easily puts himself in a fantastic position to win early on by exploiting his knowledge. Virgos are thought to be quick thinkers who have a solution for most challenges they confront. 
stress can overwhelm Virgos, since they use so much mental energy in their daily lives. Byong Gai's composure is also put to the test on several occasions until he succumbs to a lack of sleep and the stress of performing so many procedures on top of the death games. Number 7. Jai Yiong represents Libra. If you are a Libra, then your birthday falls between September 23rd to October 22nd. Jai Yiong is a character with a huge personality who is relatively silent. Viewers initially encounter her as she isolates herself from the others until Sei Bayok arrives and selects her as a companion. Jai Yiong, like Libras, wants to be a part of the group, but not at the expense of causing conflict. Libras are known for being charming people who talk frankly, and Jai Yiong has a sense for connecting with audiences and always telling it as it is. Libras are known for putting others before themselves, which Jai Yiong eventually does when she finds someone who accepts her for who she is. Number 8. Huang Jun Ho represents Scorpio. If your birthday falls between October 23rd to November 21st, then you are a Scorpio. Huang Jun Ho is a quiet and secretive man who completely embodies the characteristics of a typical Scorpio. Scorpios excel at both physical and mental endurance. And when they totally dedicate themselves to their task, they can achieve great things. Every step of the way, Jun Ho brilliantly outworks the island's security systems. Jun Ho isn't defeated until his personal emotions get in the way. Scorpios are naturally emotional, which proves to be his downfall. It's much more likely that he would have never been discovered and could have reported the games to his superiors. If he hadn't let his personal feelings get in the way of his hunt for his brother, Number 9. Abdul Ali represents Sagittarius. If you are a Sagittarius, then your birthday falls between November 22nd to December 21st. Abdul Ali was one of the few characters in Squid Game that managed to grab the hearts of fans. This makes sense, given that Sagittarians are known for being the kindest and most loyal of all the zodiac signs. Ali has always been there for his team saving Gai Hun in Red Light Green Light and anchoring the team in tug-of-war. Sagittarius individuals are normally honest and trustworthy, although this can go both ways, as they might be overly trusting of others at times. This is Ali's downfall, as he is betrayed by someone he thought was a friend, the cold Sang Wu. Number 10. Cho Sang Wu represents Capricorn. If your birthday falls between December 22nd to January 19th, then you are a Capricorn. Capricorns are known for being highly efficient people who live structured lives and set goals for themselves. Cho Sang Wu may have shared Capricorn's drive, but he made a few mistakes and landed himself in serious financial difficulty. Sang Wu is realistic about his own talents, and he understood his partnership in the game would have to thin out at some point. This systematic strategy paid off in the game. But Capricorns are prone to acting on instinct and then regretting it. After all of the betrayal, spectators watch his regret manifest itself in the very last game versus Guy Hun. Number 11. Kang Se Bayok represents Aquarius. If you are an Aquarius, then your birthday falls between January 20th to February 18th. Kang Se Bayok is a very self-reliant and independent person, which is a characteristic of the Aquarius zodiac sign. By climbing through the vents to gain a sneak glance at the honeycomb game, Say Bayok demonstrates her brains and innovative thinking. Aquarians are notoriously difficult to categorize into a single personality type, and they may display different aspects of themselves to different people. When it comes to her brother, Say Bayok is proven to be a very sensitive person, but she distances herself from others during the game and even comes across as dangerous at times. Number 12. Il Nam represents Pisces. If your birthday falls between February 19th to March 20th, then you are a Pisces. Ilnam is a tough character to define, in part because he hides his true identity for the majority of the series. Ilnam has spent a lifetime creating a fortune off of other people's debts and bad luck, indicating that Pisces are typically materialistic and money-minded. While drawing people with millions and millions of dollars and murdering them if they fail, is objectively the worst thing you can do. But Ilnam does not appear to be evil on the surface. Pisces are emotionally sensitive and observant people. 
Ilnam has become a lost soul in his old age as a result of a lifetime spent ignoring these needs in favor of money. It's likely that if he had concentrated his creativity into other areas, he would have had a far more fulfilling life. So, these were some characters that represented various zodiac signs. Which one are you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this. Take care and I'll see you again.